Hi viewers, oh, welcome to JSM. Okay. In this session, I am going to explain the uh, some thermodynamical aspects in electrochemistry. Okay. So here I am going to give some relationship between the cell potentials and the delta G and delta S and delta H. Okay. So here I am going to relate that expression uh, for the delta G to that E cell. Okay. And also uh, delta H and delta S. Now let's see first one. Here I am given work done by a cell. Okay. So generally when we studied with respect of electrochemical cells, here usually what happened uh, when the chemical energy is going to convert into electrical energy. Okay. So now the cell is going to done by that. Okay. So here that cell is doing that work. So the work done by a cell is always equals to charge into potential. Charge into potential we are taking that. Okay. So charge usually we are taking that Faraday. Okay. So there is a number of electrons are transferring that usually we are taking that NF and potential usually I am showing with that E cell. Okay. So work done by a cell is always equals to we are taken with the help of the cell potential that is NF E cell. Okay. And now look for that uh, delta G expression for the delta G. So generally when you observe that here in electrochemical cell. So there is a spontaneous reaction can occur. Okay. A spontaneous redox reaction is going to occur. So due to a spontaneous reaction cell is doing work. So that work usually that is a decrease in Gibbs energy is converted into work done. Okay. So work done here we are taken. So whatever the decrease in Gibbs energy is converting into the work done. So that's why it is possible to write decrease in Gibbs energy. Okay. Change in Gibbs energy. I am showing that minus delta G. It is must be equals to work done. Okay. So work done by a cell. So already I am given that work done by a cell is equals to NF E cell. So that means minus delta G is equals to NF E cell. Okay. And here it is possible to write delta G is equals to minus NF E cell. Okay. So delta G is equals to minus NF E cell. Okay. So at standard conditions, at standard conditions, I am making the delta G naught, delta G naught is equals to minus NF E naught cell. Okay. The cell potential we are calculating at standard conditions a delta G naught is equals to minus NF E naught cell. So this is the expression for the delta G. So change in Gibbs energy is always equals to work done by a cell in electrochemical cell. So that's why I related the change in Gibbs energy always is equal to that work done by a cell. That's why I'm given minus NF E cell. Now let us see third one that expression for delta S. Okay. So from thermodynamical equation you know that a dg is equals to we have one a vdp minus sdt okay so just now i am given one of that equation thermodynamical equation dg is equals to vdp minus sdt okay at constant pressure okay at constant pressure a dp is equals to zero okay so what we left here i am taking that dg at constant pressure okay dp is equals to zero nothing but old term is going to zero here i left with minus s dot t okay so uh, we need uh, entropy okay so for example if i am making that minus s dot t is equals to uh, dou g at constant pressure minus s is equals to dou g by dou t at constant pressure possible right okay so if i am taking that negative you will be get that negative so we need change in entropy that's i mean i will take that delta s okay so what do you get that minus do delta g by do t okay so now just now i'm given that a uh, delta g is equals to minus nf e cell okay so when i'm substituting in this one what do you get that delta s is equals to delta s is equals to minus do by do t of Delta G is equals to delta G is equals to what we have given minus NF E cell 
minus nf e cell okay so finally what do you get that um, negative negative you will get positive then delta s is equals to do okay so nf is a, a constant we are bringing that out so nf into do e cell by do t at constant pressure okay so this is we are using that expression uh, to find that uh, delta s in terms of that e cell okay but we get that delta s is equals to nf into do e cell by do t at constant pressure okay now let's see the fourth one expression for delta h okay so here usually you know that change in uh, gibbs energy here yeah, the formula delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s okay delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s so here i need the delta h okay so for that i'm bringing that delta h is equals to delta g minus okay so what do you get that when you're sending here you will be get plus t delta s so you know that expression for delta g and also you know that expression for delta s okay so what is a delta g minus nf e cell plus t delta s just now i am given so what i am given that n f do e cell by do t at constant pressure okay so from here it is possible to take a note that outside that nf term okay so here i am bringing that nf to that outside nf okay so here when you are taking that nf outside what you left t into do e cell by do t at constant pressure okay minus here we have that e cell okay so this is a expression for delta h expression for delta h delta h is equals to nf into t into do e cell by do t at constant pressure minus e cell okay so generally uh, when you deals with that your thermodynamics with the help of the sign of delta g and e cell okay it is possible to say that nature of the reaction so generally when you deals with the delta g and e cell nature of reaction we are possible to give nothing but it is a spontaneous are non spontaneous okay so that we are explaining with the help of this science so when delta g is equals to negative and delta g is equals to negative so e cell what you could expect it must be positive okay so why because you know that delta g is equals to minus nf e cell minus nf e cell to get the delta g is equals to negative sign n never it's a negative f is also never negative okay so this is a positive and this is a positive e cell also must be positive okay so that usually what you get a spontaneous okay so we are taking it as a spontaneous reaction so when delta g is equals to positive e cell must be negative okay so that nature of the reaction usually we are taking non spontaneous and if delta g is equals to zero e cell must be zero but nothing but we are taking that equilibrium okay so these are the generally four different type of thermodynamical aspects i am given so what are those one i am given that work done by sl and expression for delta g expression for delta s and expression for delta h okay so these are somewhat relations with the thermodynamics and cell potentials thank you